Greetings, Friday Nights and Monster Girls. I'm Count Jackula. And I'm the Horror Guru. And we just saw Netflix's Apostle. Hell yeah, by the new film by Gareth Evans, the director of The Raid and The Raid 2. Yep. And uh, I, I love this movie. I thought it was it's really good. excellent. <laughs> the movie is excellent. It's it's kind of like a uh, like like a Wicker Man with a little bit more action shit to it, and a, yeah. a, a nice twist at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, if you so this is very much Gareth Evans' um, horror flick. Yes, you know, it's his version of a Wicker Man like horror movie. Mm -hmm. um, there, so you got to be like, wait, is there like an action scene in this movie? There's a couple. There are a couple. But it, it doesn't not, dominate the movie. No, no, no. Because it's not an action flick. No. You know, but it's got the G Gareth Evans action yes. in it. And it's always nice when those happen because they feel good. Yeah, you yeah, know, like, yeah. like the moment when you get the main character actually fighting back against like the, the evil cult guys. It feels yeah. good. You yeah, know? it feels really good. <laughs> the basic premise of this movie is um, a guy played by Dan Stevens yep. from The, the Guest, Guest yeah. uh, has to rescue his sister from a cult that has kidnapped her and taken her to an island. It's set in, like, 1905. Yeah, yeah. And they've asked for some sort of ransom, and so he's basically the person they've sent to deliver the ransom and get the girl. Except he's not going to deliver the ransom. He's going to first make sure he can find the girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is there to make sure that she is there before any other arrangements are made. Yeah, so this requires him to essentially join the cult on the island yeah. and assimilate with them while he figures out where she is. Yeah. Yeah, and, and then, that's the basic premise. That's the basic premise of the movie. Um, <laughs> it is very Wicker Man like, very. except that the guy already knows about a cult going in. Yes, he knows that it's a cult going in, and there's like the last act of the movie is very different from the Wicker Man. Oh, very. Even though there's some scenes that echo that kind of feeling, it's it's a very different. Yeah, third act. One of the things that becomes very obvious very quickly that separates it from the Wicker Man is that there is an overt supernatural force. Yes. You know, yes. there's a very obvious supernatural force that is happening, mm -hmm. you know, in the beginning, they ease you into it, but they ease you into it pretty quickly. You find yeah. out within like the first 20 minutes that something magical. Is oh, yeah, yeah. Like, they, like they, this movie does not shy away from the supernatural. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Um, the movie is excellent. The performance it's is really brutal. It's super brutal. Like if you, if you like watch, watch the raid movies and the way he portrays like violence as like this, like really Really like it's usually like a like like a slam like a fucking like crack yeah, of a neck yeah. and like like blood pouring everywhere. That's this movie in horror form. Yeah, it's this movie, <laughs> but with torture sequences. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, can you imagine like a, a torture movie, oh. a flat out torture movie done by Gareth? Oh, Holy man. crap! Brutal. That'd be so brutal. 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 You know, brutal. like he's he's one of the few directors that I would. He and uh, uh, Ken Everdahl are some of the few people that I'd be like, look, if you want to do a torture porn movie, yeah. I, I, I'd, Go for know, it. I'd watch it. Go for because, it. like, I feel like you'd actually add something to the genre as opposed <laughs> to just, like, fucking trying to ape shit. You'd yeah. Actually, they actually add something. You know? Oh, man. Whoa. Um, this movie is really hard to talk about without going into spoilers. Yes, because we basically told you everything about, like, the first 75% of the movie. Yeah. We basically told you everything there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's the other twenty five percent where things get really crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's where shit gets real. <laughs> um, I highly recommend it. It's on Netflix right Great now. Great performances Check from everyone. It the fuck out. Dan Stevens once again plays a very different role. Yeah, he disappears. You know, he completely disappears he, in the he, role. He looks like you're like that's the guy from the guest. Yeah, but it's a completely different character. What is it? Um, is it like Martin? Ah, uh, fuck. What's his name? The the cult leader guy whose name's now escaping me. Oh, uh, the guy from uh, the Twilight movies who played the lead vampire, the the, the, the head of the vampire clan. Yes, <laughs> um, yes. Um, <laughs> he's uh, he's really good in this movie as the cult leader. Like, yeah, he, yeah. You he is. understand one hundred percent why his cult follows him. Yes, and he looks super different in this movie. He looks very different because he's yeah. got that nice beard with that gray on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he doesn't look. He mm -hmm. looks. He looks like a, a dude in his fifties. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the vampire movies, he, he he's didn't. supposed to look young. And, yeah, but yeah, what I like about things. him, is, what I like about that character, is that he's not. Um, we just talked about uh, in a, in a previous vlog on my channel about uh, 
Mandy and like the, the the cult leader in that movie being very like he's he's he's, he's kind of pathetic and yeah. he's, he, and he, and he, and he's he, he doesn't really espouse to anything he he tries to be yeah whereas this guy you, he actually does try to be somewhat saint like yeah yeah and yeah like, he's a true believer like he's actually trying to get people to live a happier life even though there's a lot of bullshit involved in it yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he really like, does want this to be the island of free people. Like, like before we get into the spoilers, there's a great scene in which a character gets hurt, and he he says, "If one of us bleeds, all of us bleeds," and cuts his hand and grabs the guy's hand. And yeah, like yeah, and it's like, "If one of us bleeds, all of us bleeds." And you're like, "Okay, I understand why everyone follows this guy." Yeah, because he's actually a good leader. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's an amazing leader. <laughs> yeah, like he's fantastic. You know, but, it's just too bad that he's formed this this cult. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. The problem with cults is that they 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 have danger to them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And this and this movie goes into that, mm -hmm. and uh, I I think I think with that, let's just go right ahead and get into spoilers. <laughs> So the first biggest spoiler is that while you know that something magical is going on, what is going on is that these three criminals mm -hmm. uh, who are the cult fathers, the guys they, who run the cult, they basically washed up on this island and they found this old, I can only assume like pagan goddess. Yeah, goddess. yeah. It's like they don't name her. Yeah. But she's very obviously they like... They constantly call her the goddess of the island. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she is some sort of, you know, whether you would call her Gloriana mm -hmm. or fucking Tatiana or the Bobanchi. Or just some sort know. of, like, nature spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, only, the only fucking Gaelic god that it certainly isn't is the Morrigan because there are no crows in the movie. No, there's no crows. Yeah, so they... Did... And it's also in Wales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, it's, yeah. a, it's an island off of Wales, so... Yeah, well, you know, at, yeah, yeah. British Isles, yeah. you know. Um, but, yeah, she looks like some sort of Celtic goddess, and she's old. She's beautiful, but she, she's very old, but beautiful. And like, what and what they figure out is that if she drinks blood, the island becomes more lush. Yeah, yeah. So, therefore, if she drinks blood, they would have better crop yields if they were to live on this island. Yeah. So, they essentially capture her, lock her up in this giant fucking shed, and uh, force feed her animal blood. Yeah. Until it starts to become the animal blood's not enough. Yeah. And so, then they start having to give human blood, and... Naturally, this is where the cult yeah. kind of goes awry. And the, yeah, and the escalation. <laughs> and there's a further escalation of that that is revealed near the end of it, which is like, okay, maybe he, maybe human blood is enough, so maybe the blood of infants. Infants, yeah. Like, it's just Whoa. like getting progressively, progressively worse. So you have this island, and on top of that, by the time the main character enters this cult and joins the island, they're having crop problems. Yeah, all the crops are failing. And so they've got a blight. So their current method of having all their members like bleed a little bit every night and putting them in jars and then feeding her it is not enough anymore. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> you, know? you know, it's been, and it's because they're forcing her yep. as opposed to letting it happen. Yep. Like if they hadn't imprisoned her, if they had just been like, all right, look, we'll just give you some blood and we'll put it out in the middle of the woods. We're yep. cool, right? Probably everything would have been okay, yep. but no, two of the fucking cult leaders had to be dicks about it. Yeah, yeah. They had to be dicks about it. You, you had you had the main cult leader guy who agreed to all this and has been force-feeding her his own blood to try to, like, yeah. fix it. But then you have this other guy, who is the true yeah. villain of the movie beyond yeah. everyone else. yeah. You know, this other guy who has to take it way farther. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the know. one who suggested it, su su suggests infants. And yeah. At that point, I'm just like, just move off the island. Like, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. It's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, just kill this guy. Kill you this know? guy. Get, but this guy's already established as being incredibly violent and not stable. Um, yeah. And we see this through a subplot in which his daughter is dating one of the, um, dating in secret, one of the daughters of the, of the third 
No, well, the sons of the, the son. Yeah, the of son. Another cult leader. Uh, the son of the yeah, third. There are three. Cult. There are three cult leaders. Yes. Yeah. There's the head one, and then there's the right hand man, and the, and the left hand man. And the way it works is you have uh you have um the dude from Twilight is basically he is the face of the cult. He mm-hmm. is the one who proselytizes because yeah. he's the speaker. Um, you have uh the big fat bald guy who's the one we're talking about currently. He is the muscle of the cult. Yeah. Yeah, and, he's the right hand man. And then you have the other guy, and he's the one who lures people from across the sea um, and uses his boat to bring them there. Yep. Um, so you have these three leaders, and the son of the boat dude is uh, secretly sleeping with the daughter of the of the bald heavy dude. And bald heavy dude don't like this. No. Um, and basically this this plot line escalates to the point where she reveals she's pregnant, or he discovers she's pregnant, rather. And he fucking kills her. Yeah. <laughs> he fucking kills her, and then he pins it on the son of the other cult leader, and then takes over the cult. Yep. <laughs> and yeah. this happens really fast. It happens really fast. <laughs> so, like, the the, 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 the the other leader, you know, the true believer leader, like, he's off dealing with another important thing. He's dealing with the fact that the, the third leader wants to leave the island because he feels like this is escalating badly. Yeah, but he doesn't know what's also going on. Yeah, yeah, he has no idea what the other. He doesn't guy know is that his to. son's being tortured by the by the big heavy guy yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those. You really get the feeling that it, this is one of those. This is one of those. Like, oh, if you had just known what this guy was up to, yeah. this wouldn't have happened. And here's the thing: we're not. We're we're about at the last. We still have like thirty minutes to go in this movie, and we're just now getting that Wicker Man scene where a character gets gets uh gets lynched by the rest of the yeah. by the rest of the cult and it's the it's the son of the other cult leader and they're still movie going yeah <laughs> there's still movie to come yeah, yeah. you may notice <laughs> that none of that plot has a lot to do with Dan Stevens nope. even though he's the main character no nope. uh and that's because nope. This is shit that is happening around him as he's trying to find his yep, sister. Yep. He's connected to it in that he uh, befriends the son um, and and promises to keep his secret if he helps him find his sister. Yeah. Um, uh, well, it's uh, less befriending and more like, well, uh, if you don't want anyone to know, you better help me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> because Dan Stevens' character is not a nice guy. He's... He's seen some shit, and he has zero tolerance for bullshit. It's like, yeah, yeah. He's just like, no, you're just going to do what I tell you. <laughs> and that's another you know? thing I love, because when you watch this movie, you're initially sitting there going like, okay, this is called The Apostle because of the cult leader, right? No. That's not why it's called yeah, The Apostle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan Stevens is The Apostle. Dan Stevens is The Apostle, because you find out over the course of the story that he was originally a priest of God. Yeah. He's who, a missionary. Who went to Nanking, I think it was? Peking. Peking. And was basically brutalized, tortured, and uh, branded, branded uh, for for uh, for uh, being, being Christian. Being Christian, because, like, and he lost his faith. Yeah, but he yeah, was yeah. an apostle of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a follower of God. He was an apostle of God. Yeah, and I love that the moment where everything's going apeshit. There's a woman who's go goes like, "The Lord be with you," and he goes. And I hope not with you, yeah. you know, because yeah, yeah. He's, he's totally fucking like, Jesus Christ, that's fucking yeah. bullshit. I'm out. Fuck yeah. you. If and you this is why throughout the entire movie, he walks with his very particular limp. Yeah. And I love it because yeah. it's, it's subtle. It's like, you're just like, oh man, why does he do that? And you find out over the course of the story why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because his leg's been twisted. Yep. He's been you know, and it's, 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 it's enough for him to walk and run, but not look normal doing yep. it. Yep. You know, um, oh, and, man. and uh, he's also got like a drug problem because yes. he's in, in a lot he's of dropping pain. Opi- opioids the entire time. Yeah. 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 Like I, I'm sort of like, it, it looked like it's probably supposed to be loud numb or something. Uh, something like that. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. But he's, he's definitely like just drugging himself up because he's fucking in, in pain. And plus like a, he's addicted to the painkillers at this mm-hmm. point and B like, He's he's psychologically tortured, and here is the biggest spoiler of the entire movie. It turns out he's not actually he's not the apostle because he's the apostle of God. No, he's the apostle of this goddess. Yeah, and he didn't realize this until he confronts her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he finally I've been waiting for you, you for so long, oh, my, my son. son. Yeah, he's like, oh shit, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> so this is kind of like if the Wicker Man, if you did the Wicker Man, but the Wicker Man A appeared and it turned out that the main character had been summoned there by yep. the Wicker Man to do a thing. Yep. And his thing that he was summoned there to do is to kill her. Yeah, to free, to free kill her, her and free her, to free yep. her from this. 
so that someone else can take mm-hmm. the power, and that's him. Yep. By the end of the movie, he starts turning into the new. Yeah, he, he turns into the Green Man yeah. essentially. You know, he goes, at, which I was like, "Oh, that's super fucking that's cool." Great. And I'm just like, "Okay, that's why it's called the Apostle." And it cuts right from that to the Apostle. The Apostle. Yeah. Like, so good. Clever title. So good. <laughs> yeah, it's very. It, it, this is a very, um, you know, pagan uh, friendly movie. Yes. Yes. Unlike unlike the Wicker Man, which is very pagan phobic. This yeah, movie is yeah. actually like. Okay with the pagans. Yeah, yeah, it's okay with the pagans. It's, 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 not, it's all these Christian motherfuckers coming over and fucking these, shit up. These Christian motherfuckers that come over here and start a weird cult around our thing instead of actually respecting it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's about cultural appropriation. <laughs> you want to take it that far? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, you absolutely, you absolutely could. You absolutely could because it's 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 a, it's a message of, of d- d- damnation in that direction. Yep. Because it's like, oh, oh, you thought, oh, you, you you thought it could work this. Way. Oh, you thought you could industrialize this. I also shit. love that last shot, like well, the, the second to last shot before, like he turns into the thing. Yeah, where it's just him and the other apostle just kind of standing there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As the boat goes off. Yeah, and they're both dying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're both dying, and the one guy. And, and, and what I liked about that was there was this kind of like the the the, the leader of the cult that's dying with him, who you're kind of who. You're unsure of going in, grow to kind of like him, but are still suspicious of. And by the end of the movie, you kind of for, you forgive him uh, yeah. because you realize you that, forgive him, even though like it's still a lot of his fault. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those like he did a lot of things that he didn't want to do because he thought it was for the greater good. Yeah, you know. And but at the end of the day, he didn't want his people to get killed. No. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So them leaving is like, okay, good. There, they there's escaped. a lot of people who died over the course of the story that he didn't want to die. Exactly. Yeah. You know, like even when they're torturing the the character sister to try to flush out who the secret agent inside the midst is, um, he, he, it's clear he doesn't want to take the torture too far. Yeah, he doesn't want to take too, 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 torture too far, and he definitely doesn't want to kill her for a lot of good yeah. reasons. One is basic humanity. The other is. Dude, if we kill her, we can't hold her for ransom. Which brings in another character that we actually haven't even talked about yet, which is his daughter. Yes. <laughs> Who befriends Dan Stevens yeah. and kind of helps him on his journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And she is like the young witch. Mm-hmm. Because even though she's a member of this cult, you have to remember this cult has both Christian and... and, and she's pagan. a medicine woman. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And, and pagan roots. And she's... Yeah, she's, she's the medicine the, woman. She's, she's the midwife. She's the medicine woman. Yeah, yeah. She um, does all the classic like rich witch roles. Like when the little when the, when the uh, teenage girl gets pregnant, she's the one she goes to. Yeah. to to find out what to do and what's going on. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that and that's very accurate to the way uh, witchcraft was kind of treated. Mm-hmm. You know, from what we can tell from historical documents, which is you know everybody prays on Sunday. But when you got something you can't go to Jesus to, you go to the witch. You go to the witch. Yep. You know, and that was not unusual. And the thing is, is that it's very obvious that everything she pleads with her father with, her father doesn't agree on. Her father just thinks that there's no other choice. Yes. Whereas she thinks that, like, well, there's got to be another choice because this is unacceptable. Yeah. <laughs> you know. That's why he lets her go and help the sister after the sister's been tortured. Like, it's, yeah, you know, because he actually does have a concept of mercy. He doesn't want anyone to get hurt. He just wants his people to flourish. Yeah, you know. So you're like, I understand why people follow you. You know, yeah, I really yeah, like yeah. That. It so, would have been very easy just to make him like just just stereotypical like mustache twirling villain. Well, yeah, it would have been very easy to have the guy who turns out to be the villain just be that character. Yeah. You know, but the movie's actually a bit more complex about it. I liked that. I oh, liked that. no. I even understand why why the fucking crazy heavy guy thought the way he did. Oh, yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you As do. fucked up and as twisted as it was, it made sense. Yeah, well, that's that's a great that's a great case of, I understand where you're coming from, but you're a monster and you got to You're super down. monster. Well, the, the, the irredeemable thing he does beyond all else is when he pins the murder of his own daughter on the guy that loved her. Yeah. That's the moment where you're just like, no, you're just flat out evil. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean, it's one of those like just just in case fucking killing his own daughter wasn't enough. Like up until the point where you're like, well, I do not think the current leader is doing enough for our people. I do not think that his methods are working. I feel like we need to take this further. You can understand each part of that process, but the whole the way yeah, the yeah, coup yeah. happens, yeah, because because <laughs> even when he murders someone, he could just be crazy. Mm-hmm. 
he could just be crazy, a crazy religious zealot. But when he pins it on the guy, that's when you're like, oh, no, he's not a crazy yeah. religious zealot. He's just evil. Yep. He's just yep. awful. And even you uses know. the fact that the guy attacked him when he found his, his lover killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as like, clearly he was trying to kill us. Like, just, oh, yeah. You fucking monster. Oh, man. That guy was great. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The actor was amazing. <laughs> you know, like, everyone in this movie did a fucking fantastic job. Absolutely. You know, I I, 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 I was kind of, uh, I was kind of happy that uh, Gareth Evans found a way to sneak in that Asian influence. Yeah, yeah, with that Peking scene. Yeah, with the Peking yeah. scene. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Like, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and this but, was a nice. This was nice too because it was, I was I was wondering how his transition into English speaking films would would go, and this went really well. Oh, it went super well. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, fan fucking tastic. You know, fucking, oh, oh God, I got to start doing something other than this these days. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell, That's man. been tarnished. I know, it has. It has been fucking Fucking 4chan tarnished. trolls and actual Nazis. I know, tarnished man. It. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Even, like, even though, like, that might have started as a troll, they've actually started to adopt it, so it becomes... Well, it's like, it's, well, it's <laughs> like the Pepe thing. Yeah. It's like, once, it's like, that is not how that started. That didn't happen until someone accused it of it, and then they were like, okay, well, now we're taking it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's one of those problems where, like, like once you've actually embraced it for that, I, I can't just fall on, well, it was a troll. Like, well, yeah, like, because... Because well, it was a troll, but then... Mm. Yeah, well, it's like, it's like with the swastika itself. Oh, yeah. You know, the swastika itself is not a symbol, was not a symbol of the Aryan nation. It's a symbol of the Wheel of Fortune, the Buddhism. Yep. But... Now then they took you've, it. You've they taken it. it. You've made it this thing. Fuck you. That's the you thing, know? world. Nazis have been doing this since the beginning of Nazidom. So how, why is it surprising when they do it now? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know, like, and uh, that 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 that's a bit of your symbolic magical theory right there. Um, <laughs> at the end of this apostle, at the end video. of this thing about the apostle, which is a great movie, and you should fucking watch. Well, it. Well, I mean, if you want to talk about modern politics, a uh, big bald dude guy was very Trumpian. Oh, he's very Trumpian. <laughs> he's Trumpy. He does psychotic and stupid things. You know, like. Look, I'm never going to stop saying that. Oh, Trumpy, you can do stupid things. Um, so you should check out this movie. It's it's super good. If you are a pagan leading individual who likes your you know Lord and Lady, that you should definitely fucking watch this movie because it's all about that. And uh, if you like Dan Stevens and the guest, check it out. And if you like the raid and you're like, I want to see what else Gareth Evans can do. While still occasionally getting that good, like, fucking ejaculatory violence. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, it's sparse in this movie, but when it happens, it's very satisfying. Oh, it's very satisfying. Yeah. The it, entire fight with the with the kid and the bald dude in that. Oh. In that, that was great. Yeah, that's like, that's <laughs> like. Right before he pins the murder scene. on him. That was yeah. Great. Because, like, you really are legitimately wondering how that's going to go. Yes. Because <laughs> usually you're like, okay, what usually happens is the, the bigger guy wins and fucking kills the kid. Well, the funny thing is, up until that point in the movie, I realized, like, okay, I had kind of walked in with, like, the Wicker Man formula in my head. And I was realizing at that point, I actually have no idea where this movie's going anymore. <laughs> and so yeah. I don't know if this bald guy's going to die. I don't know what's going to happen here. What's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so definitely, if you got Netflix, check out The Apostle. It's mm -hmm. fucking fantastic. It is completely worth your time watching. Yep. And uh, where can they find you? You can find me at The Horror Guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on YouTube, and on Facebook. And uh, just look up the Horror Guru or Blood Spider Cinema and you'll find me there. And, of course, I am Count Jackula. You're here. Hit that subscription bell. Ring that notification button. You know what I fucking meant. And you can also find me on twitch.tv slash count underscore Jackula. We stream there every Thursday at 6 and every Sunday at 9. Um, as, as well as randomly during the day when I got a couple hours free. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram, Satanic Jackula, and look for me on Facebook, but I can't tell you what that is because I go there so fucking infrequently. Hey! So use the other platforms. Yeah, <laughs> use the other shit. Send me an Instagram, man. Like, I'll, I'll respond to an Instagram post. You know? Just share that over and just be like, hey, Carl Jackula, fucking love you. I'll be like, right on, dude. Here's like, the only thing I'm not never going to give you is a dick pic. At, le at least not one of my dick. I might give you a picture of a dick that's in a movie. Maybe. You know, and if you want me to do that, you can make that special request on Instagram and I'll. I'll now, just everyone's going to send you pictures of Dick Cheney. <laughs> <laughs>